Hello and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This is Malabrigo Rios. This 100% superwash merino wool yarn features 120 multi, semi-solid, and variegated colors. The colorway that we chose is 850 Archangel. This 100 gram skein with 129 meters or 210 yards works up as a worsted weight yarn. The suggested gauge on a US 6 to 8 or 4 to 5 millimeter needles is 18 to 22 stitches per 4 inches or 10 centimeters. For our swatch, I will be using a 4.5 millimeter needle size. In today's video, we're going to review and score Malabrigo Rios using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you and your next project. Stay tuned until the end for a few pattern recommendations as well. Would you like to see how all of our yarns compare to one another or enter to win our monthly giveaway? Join our free newsletter linked in the description box below. Let's get started. For availability, we give Malabrigo Rios a score of 4.5 out of 5. Malabrigo began in 2005 and is a family-owned yarn company located in Uruguay and Peru. Unlike a lot of international brands, Malabrigo does have a large footprint here in the United States. You'll be happy to hear that you can purchase this particular yarn at quite a few small shops, probably even at your local yarn shop too. It's also easily accessible on webs, Lovecrafts, and Wool Warehouse. It's one of those yarns, like Cascade Yarns 220, that is one of the most common yarns that you may come across in local shops. For softness, we give it a score of 4.7 out of 5. Yes, yes, and yes. This yarn tops as one of the softest merino yarns we have reviewed so far. It's plush, bouncy, soft, all of the things we love to see in a yarn, for certain projects of course. For comparison, it is softer than Cascade Yarns 220 Superwash Merino and not quite as soft as Hobie Soft Alpaca. I'd say it's pretty comparable to Knit Pick Stroll or Cream Casole Wool the Merry Merino. For a micron count or softness scale rating, Merino averages around a 21, but we absolutely believe this one to be a softer 18 or even a 17 micron count, closer to a cashmere than a rustic feeling wool. So if you are sensitive to more rustic wools like I am, you shouldn't notice any sign of irritation when working with this yarn. I hadn't heard this yarn talk about very often, so we didn't really understand the love that we heard a few fiber artists share. But the yarn speaks for itself, it is really nice. I will admit, I think I've been missing out. Similar to other wools, merino yarn is a highly sought after fiber because merino features characteristics like being odor resistant, breathable, and hypoallergenic. So not only would this gem of a merino yarn be nice and soft to wear, but it will also keep you warm. And I know that you've noticed the stunning colors of this multi or watercolor way that we've chosen. We can't wait to see how it works out. For traction, we give it a score of 5 out of 5. Now you may know that the more yarns we've reviewed, we don't just give out a 5 score like it's candy unless we think a yarn is truly deserving of it. But this yarn was an absolute pleasure to work with. Because of its softness, it glides so well on my nickel plated needles. The fibers or spin is not getting caught and there's no sign of irritation. This is what I consider a no fuss yarn where you can watch a movie or not even look at your knitting and don't have to worry about dropping stitches or your needles getting caught. For durability, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. Often softer yarns don't hold up well to wear and tear and are prone to pilling. Because merino wool fibers are more fine, it's a little bit delicate on its own. However, the higher twist of this yarn definitely adds some strength, allowing it to withstand greater tension and stress. When it came to the stress test, surprisingly we only noticed a small amount of pilling, not with fabric to fabric, but feeling the swatch with my hand. 
And since this yarn has undergone a superwash treatment, that should prevent the fibers from felting together. Although washing this yarn won't be an issue because of its superwash treatment, I do recommend taking extra care if or when it does pill so your garment keeps looking nice and neat. For cost, we give it a score of 2.7 out of 5. For being a 100 gram skein, you can expect to pay $17 regular price. That breaks down to $0.08 cents per yard, meaning a size medium sweater would cost approximately $85. Now because this yarn is hand dyed, you're purchasing a commercial hand dyed yarn for $17 a skein, which if you're familiar with hand dyed yarn shops, the price of this yarn is about half. Overall, we give Malabrigo Rios a score of 4.18 out of 5. What a beautiful yarn. It's soft, it's hand dyed, the colors are so vibrant, and it was a dream to work with. And can you see how beautiful that stitch definition is? If you're wanting to knit a hand dyed project but just don't have it in the budget to pay a small shop's price, as much as I love and support small shops and think dyers are so talented, this yarn could be a great option for you to try out. Just make sure you get enough yarn all at once as this company does not use dye lots. So we had a little look on Ravelry and wanted to share a few pattern recommendations with you, hopefully to inspire you if you're wanting to use this yarn for a project of your own. The first pattern is Cold Breath by Joji Locatelli. It comes in seven sizes with finished bust measurements ranging from 48 to 72 inches and recommends a large 16 to 18 inches of positive ease. It suggests using a worsted weight yarn and four, four and a half, and five millimeter needles to meet gauge. It is worked in the round from the top down, starting with each loose cabled shoulder detail. It features a large feminine cowl neck, smaller sleeve openings, and slimmer sleeves. The next pattern is the Colina Cowl by Jen Emerson. It comes in two sizes with finished measurements of 11 by 24 and 11 by 48 inches, depending on if you want a cowl or infinity scarf length. The broken rib stitch textured fabric is squishy and warm and features a knit as you go I-cord edging. It looks to be a single layer that is knit flat. The cowl only uses 200 yards, so you could easily knit it with one skein of this yarn or use two skeins for the infinity scarf length. The last pattern is the step-by-step -step cardigan by Florence Miller. It comes in nine sizes with finished bust measurements ranging from 29 and a half to 61 inches and recommends six inches of positive ease. It suggests using a worsted weight yarn and four, four and a half and five millimeter needles to meet gauge. It is knit seamlessly flat from the top down and the sleeves are knit in the round. It features raglan increases and is finished with a clean double knitted button band edge. She also has a full video tutorial walkthrough to go with the pattern. Have you used Malabrigo Rios yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's review, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.